Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn them notifications on. So this morning, something rather exciting is taking place here on the farm. Behind me here, we have got the Case JXU 105, which is actually going to be a part in company with us this morning. So here she is in all her glory. This tractor here, well, you get the gist of the story. We've got a new tractor coming and this is the one that's leaving us. So this tractor here has been a, well, really reliable tractor for us. We had this brand new back in 2009. This at the time was our main loader tractor. So back then we didn't have the JCB telehandle that we have now. So all our load work used to be done with this tractor. She did about 4,000 hours, mainly loader work until we decided to purchase the JCB. Since then, she's copped up to 7,000 hours. And well, it's about time that she uh, went from here on the farm so you'll see just there 7293 hours on the clock of this tractor cab looking rather empty no control boxes no cb anymore the new tractor is supposed to be here within the next couple of hours um i'm going to be quite sad to see this tractor go obviously this came as i said here in 2009 i was 10 at the time and this is really the tractor that i've well this is this has been my tractor on the farm um, this is what I sort of learned to drive tractors on. Um, I did the bulk of my all of my tractor driving here on this one, really. So it's going to be quite, I don't know, a bit sad to see something go that's been here for so long. But quite exciting, on the other hand, that we've got something new coming. I'm not going to quite reveal just yet, even though probably by the title of the video, you know what's coming. But here she is. So this is heading to starting tractors at Twycross, which is obviously where we purchased the new tractor from. We decided to use starting tractors for a couple of reasons, really. One, because we weren't really looking for another tractor. Um, I was just scrolling through their website back at the beginning of September, and I found a tractor there that I thought would suit us. It's only got 900 hours on it, and it's seven years old, so it's, it's quite a good buy, really. Well, yeah, we decided to to go with that. So they had the right tractor at the right time for us. I say the right time, we weren't really looking to change until the spring. That's when we were gonna start looking for another tractor. But sometimes with stuff like this, stuff doesn't come up at the right time. The right machine come up, slightly wrong timing. We bit the bullet and have gone with deciding to change it. The other reason we went with starting tractors is because when we bought our case Puma off them, the, the backup service we had after um, when we bought that tractor was second to none. It was absolutely brilliant. I would highly recommend anyone who is looking for a second-hand tractor or new, new case tractor or whatever, starting tractors at Twycross. I would definitely recommend them. So when we bought the Case Puma, which is Mark's tractor, we had a few issues with it. Not bad issues. We had a couple of oil leaks, you know, little niggly things that you get with second-hand machinery when you buy it. They were brilliant, straight away come out, sorted all the issues we had. We also had a, an issue with the air conditioning on the tractor. Now they came out to that several times trying to fix it. It was one of them intermittent faults, which takes a long time to find. Fair play, 12 months down the line after us first diagnosing it with them, they were still coming out here and they ended up finding the problem in the end. All it was was a little earth wire under the seat was a bad connection. It kept cutting the air conditioning out, um, but they stood by everything that we had to go wrong it's not really pro it's just teething problems everything that we had with the tractor they sorted out so to be fair they were that good you sort of choose to go with someone like that again they're the main reasons we decided to go to starting tractors for this new tractor um, we have obviously got dealers that are closer to us, but we found the service to be so good when we bought our Puma. It was worth going a little bit further afield, getting that service again. If we get any problems with this one, it just makes your life easier. And then also, if you did have any issues with the tractor, you know they're a dealer that will stand by them issues instead of trying to brush them under the carpet and push them onto your fault. So there we go. We shall now wait 
until the new tractor arrives and we'll uh, take a look at that when it's here. And there is the new tractor, a Case Farmall 115U Pro, as you will see, 2014 Reg. And as I said before, this tractor here only done about 950 hours so not too much to say about this one really it's looking very nice and neat pretty much new it's got a nice set of weights on the front so like i was saying we weren't really looking to actually uh, change the tractor at the time but we found this it was it was at the right sort of price right age and right hours very low hours for the age of it so it was kind of a deal we couldn't turn down and yeah let's have a quick look up here in the cab and there's the dash it's got almost a multi-controller armrest gears one to four on here this is also a range gear lever so as you'll see moves between our ranges Forward and reverse, lift arms, uh, two sets of spools. This did only have one set of spools when we went to have a look at it. But the plan with this is to put a set of loader brackets on it. And then we've got this tractor for a loader when we're doing silage bales in the summer and straw bales. Really, we just want another tractor for when we are handling bales because it's, it's a lot of work for just the telehandler to do. So the way we wrap our bales, it's always handier to have the second loader around. So... This will be our loader lever control. This had, like I say, one electric spool, so we've had a second one fitted so we can have our up and down of the loader and tilt on this. This will also be very handy for spraying, so we can lift our booms up and down like so, and then do the side swipe to keep them level on that as well. It's got, so, two electric spools, two cable spools, which one operates a retractable hitch, and yeah, really nice laid out tractor, very high spec compared to the JXU. All in all, a very nice tractor indeed. Not really much else to say about this tractor at the moment. Um, I've got a few little jobs to do with this, but nothing massive. We finished all the drilling now, so no field work really to do with this. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this will perform for us. Have a bit more of a look at it in a bit more depth in another video a bit later on in the year. But for now, we'll wrap that one up there. Case Farmer 115U Pro is the new tractor on the farm. And yeah, I'm really excited to get out and do a little bit of work with this one. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next one.